roar here at the Kennedy Space Center as Falcon 9 lifts off with Crew 10. Absolutely beautiful, perfect launch so far. Into today's flight. Our telemetry nominal. to get good performance. Listen very carefully. Listen carefully for max Q at 58 seconds in. That's engines. maximum dynamic pressure. For max Q. What great timing that was. We just passed through Max Q. That's the largest structural load that the vehicle will see on ascent. Vehicle supersonic. Critical moment there. Passed perfectly. And now, just over one minute and ten seconds into today's flight, traveling at more than 1,400 miles per hour. And we just heard that call out for Juan Bravo, which means we're in the second and final abort mode for the first stage, continuing to get good performance. And the crew already pulling over two Gs. Next up, we'll have a couple of events happening in rapid succession. started. First will be that engine chill on the second stage and back engine, which we just heard. And then we'll have Miko or main engine cutoff, where the nine engines on the first stage will cut off ahead of the first and second stages. We'll be separating from one another. Then the single Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage will ignite and continue to carry crew 10 to orbit while the first stage begins its journey back to Earth. Now we're just two minutes into today's flight. The vehicle is traveling just under 4,000 miles per hour. We're just about 20 seconds away from those events that Anna just mentioned. Uh, the nine Merlin engines will shut down here in just about 10 seconds for Miko. Stage separation and SES-1. Yeah, two minutes, 30 seconds, we'll get first and second stage separation. Stage separation confirmed. Copy, two alpha. Great call outs and incredible views there on your left hand screen. On your left hand screen, you can see a view from stage one. Excited crowd here in Hawthorne. Awesome views of that boost back burn on the first stage, as well as the MBAC engine igniting on the second stage. Great views there. Now the booster is in its boost back burn. This is the first of three burns as it makes its way back down to Earth. This will last about 45 seconds. And the crew, 10 crew, is still on board Dragon attached to Falcon 9 second stage, which you can see there on your right hand screen. And we're now at three minutes and 20 seconds into today's flight. The vehicle is traveling about 6,500 miles per hour. They are on their way to the space station. And we did have that confirmation um, coming up of the boost back shutdown. And then coming up in at the T plus six minute mark. Uh, coming, And there we have our first images of the crew inside the Dragon spacecrafts as they make their way into orbit. And the crew Dragon, SpaceX, nominal trajectory. Continuing to get good call outs. SpaceX, Dragon, copy nominal. Stage two it continues to be on power with, uh, and it's firing until we get to that second stage engine cutoff around the nine minute mark of flight, about five minutes of flight to go before Dragon will be flying free. Some cool views there on your left hand screen. That's the first stage booster as it's making its way back down to Earth. This is a ground tracking camera getting these awesome views. <laughs> and on the right hand side of yeah, your screen, you can see that lone Merlin vacuum engine of the second stage. We're continuing to get good performance on the second stage. That trademark. And the cruise G loads will dip right when we hit the to bring separation the booster rocket back down to Earth. Nobody in the world does that, like Dragon SpaceX. Dragon and Dragon that makes this whole program affordable going forward. We're now at five minutes into today's flight. 
uh, with a liftoff at 7.03 p.m. Pacific, 4.03 uh, p.m. Eastern, 4.03 p.m. Pacific, continuing to get good callouts as stage one makes its way back to Earth and stage two continues to fire propelling Dragon into orbit. If you're just now joining us, the four members of Crew 10 launched from Launch Complex 39A at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. And they're currently on board Dragon, still attached to Falcon 9's second stage, which you're seeing there on your right-hand screen, on your left-hand screen. The first stage vehicle is making its way back down to Earth. It already completed the first of three burns as the boost back burn. And the next event coming up for that vehicle is going to be the entry burn. Dragon SpaceX, nominal trajectory. Great call-outs there. That entry burn is coming up. SpaceX Dragon, copy nominal. That entry burn is coming up here in just under 20 seconds. We'll reignite three of those nine Merlin 1D engines to help slow the vehicle down as it makes its way back into the Earth's atmosphere. We're now just over six minutes into today's flight as Dragon and the second stage continue traveling at over 12,000 miles per hour, making their way into orbit and on the way to the International Space Station. There, we just saw on the screen, it was very quick, but we had the entry burn, which we got some cool views of that from the ground, which is awesome. Now, the next event coming up will be the landing burn for the first stage. That's coming up here in about 30 seconds. Dragon SpaceX, nominal trajectory. Again, great call outs for SpaceX Dragon, copy nominal. Confirmation there from the crew as they continue to make their way into orbit. Now seven minutes into today's flight, the first stage making its way back down to Earth and the second stage continuing to fire. This is an awesome view. Let's see if we can see the center engine relight for that landing burn here in a few seconds. There's that landing burn. Let's watch as Falcon 9 touches down on landing zone one. <laughs> has made its way back to Earth. We're about a minute away from the second engine cutoff, which we're expecting around the nine minute mark of today's flight. We're continuing to get good call outs and uh, Dragon and all of the systems on the vehicle are to performing. we continue to watch and listen to the NASA and SpaceX coverage here, I want to also bring in former astronaut Mike Massimino. Uh, Mike, walk us through what we just saw. I mean, we went through two stages here yeah. at least, and it seems like everything is going well. It, it is. Yeah, the, the first saying? stage was the, the rocket that launched them, mm -hmm. and that's what you just saw return to Earth. It went through a series of burns to do that. And now the second stage is the where the spacecraft is attached to that, to that engine that you see yeah. burning now. That's the second stage, and that's what's taking them to orbit right now. So we still need that one to keep working for a little bit longer, and they'll be in space. That call out there for Shannon, and that is the call out for Shannon, Ireland, which is the final abort stage for the second stage off the coast of Ireland. Standing by for a second engine cutoff. And by shutdown. Dragon SpaceX, nominal orbit insertion. <laughs> and there we heard Dragon <laughs> There we heard confirmation. Launch escape of system disarmed. Good confirmation of orbital insertion. Crew 10 is now well on their way to the International Space Station following a nine and a half minute flight uphill. <laughs> Now, the second stage is preparing for dragon separation here, which should happen uh, shortly in about 10, 15 seconds is what we're expecting. And we're preparing for stabilizing the second stage so that we can have a smooth separation. And there you can see on the left hand side of your screen. <laughs> the crowd is going wild. <laughs> there on your screen. 
separation. And you can see that dragon separation, that second stage making its way. And dragon is now flying free. 10 minutes into today's flight. That was about a minute after we had that second engine cut off. So Mike, as we're listening to this, is this sort of the moment where in effect, it they're in the like clear, and we can say this launch has been a success. Or do we yeah. have to wait until it gets? No, they're free. they're no longer under powered flight, so they've uh, they've they've been inserted they're into their the orbit. They still have some maneuvers, but it's it's those that eight and a half minutes or so where the engine's burning underneath you <laughs> that uh, you kind of uh, hold your breath or waiting to make sure everything goes well, and now you have engine cut off and and they're in good shape. They're in orbit right now. It's amazing to Falcon see. Team. We also have with Today us with Leroy Chow, who is a former LG. astronaut as well and also a former commander of the International Flight Space Station. Leroy, you if you can journey. hear you me, I mean, just walk us through Thank what you, you have seen so far and your reaction to what appears to be a very successful launch on the second attempt this week for Falcon 9 rocket. This launch looked flawless. Uh, you didn't hear any problems going uphill, no no failures, no error calls, nothing they were looking at looked completely flawless. Uh, the crew is now in uh, in their injection, orbit injection, and they'll do a circularization burn, a series of burns, and they'll be at the space station uh, sometime early tomorrow. My family and friends, without you, I would not be here. And I think Explore we're boldly. listening to Get the astronaut please. speaking Go here. That sounds like that's Commander Albert, Anne McClain. They're, they're very happy. Yeah, you can sort of hear it in her voice, the change from when she spoke right before takeoff where she was thanking all of the people who'd helped get them there to their uh, families as well, her thanking again. Let's listen as she talks some more. ...in the connectedness of humanity. I would be remiss to not once again acknowledge those who helped me get here to this wonderful view and this perspective, to the teachers, coaches, fellow officers, fellow teammates, Raptor Nation, to my friends and family that encouraged my dreams from the start. Thank you. I wouldn't be here without you. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.